Hello, it's Nearest Cry. Welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts, the Xenophobia mod installed. Last time I left off, I had taken out a bunch of aircraft, and I was going to take this one down. How long will it take you to get there? Ten hours? Yeah, that looks about right. Chase that horizon. Oh, whatever. Oof, I've never shot a fighter before? Huh. The fighter is a very small UFO apparently designed for air supremacy. It is faster and tougher than the light scout and surprisingly well armed for its size, though not individually matched for an F-17 Condor. I doubt a lonely F-17 would stand much chance against a full squadron of three. The most interesting feature of this design is the absence of pressurized crew compartment. Virtually the entirety of the saucer consists of propulsion systems, sensors, and weapons arrays weapon arrays. This initially led us to believe the craft was unmanned, but analysis of the wreckage revealed enough biological material to convince us otherwise. We are unsure exactly what form this pilot takes. There is only room for one, but the lack of uh, transparent canopy or control system implies there is much more heavily they are much more heavily integrated with their craft than human pilots are. The fighter's primary armament is a short-range, rapid-fire energy weapon much like the craft cannon on our F-17s. However, it also carries a pair of long-ranged homing plasma projectiles that act more like missiles. Quite what these devices are and how they work is unknown as fighters tend to explode so spectacularly when destroyed that there is little left to study. Whatever the cul culprit, I doubt we will be covering an intact uh, version of any time soon. Huh. Ground attack mission. Ooh, a new mission type. We have terror, grand attack, and reception. I was talking to one of the junior researchers at R&D. The seniors don't have time for us grunts. And she told me they had identified over three and a half thousand separate alien craft orbiting our world. If they all landed tomorrow, we'd be dead. As it is, the ETs have merely committed to the largest air war since Hitler was in power. Pattern of it... Pattern analysis of ET airstrikes suggests they're currently focusing on soft targets. Highways, small towns, even isolated uh, warships on patrol. These targets are difficult for emergency services to respond to, and the ET's ability to strike and treat anywhere make it hard for local forces concentrated near the large population centers to intercept. Ground attack missions can be carried out by any grade of signal, from the smallest to the largest. Rather than being given a specific target, UFOs will patrol a patch of the planet looking for looking for targets of opportunity. UFOs tasked with a ground attack mission will strike several times before retreating to re rearm and refuel and can cause uh, serious havoc. They're damn clever, Commander. They strike at locations that make no immediate military or economic impact, but they whittle away at our confidence, cut lines of commerce and communication. If we become isolated, the planet will shut down as effectively as if they bombed every capital city into rubble. Our experience in detection tech gives us a fighting chance against ET strikes, but the fact that there are too many of them and too few of us to handle them all at once. My advice is to get as many bases built as you can. Never mind R&D's bleeding for more funds. These nerds... Those nerds have no idea how the real world works, and we need boots on the ground, not heads in the sky. Ah. An interception mission. That looks pretty cool. Uh, what do you want to hear first, the good or the bad news? The good news is we're having serious impact on ET air operations. They're now using fighter craft to escort their larger ships, which means our interceptions have hurt them. The bad news is that they... They're taking the fight to us, starting with our own aircraft. The ETs have set up combat air patrols to directly counter our own interceptors. UFOs tasked on interception missions will patrol the skies until we launch our own aircraft. They will then, most likely informed by orbital spotters, head dr uh, directly towards our own craft and intercept our squadrons. It's fairly easy to make uh, out a squadron task with an interception mission. There are always interceptors of some sort, so look for signals which indicate only very small UFOs. Be aware of the danger toward the dropships, Commander. I recommend clearing out any squadrons with interception missions but first before tackling other craft to prevent any accidents happening to the ground team. Okay. Uh. Oh. We now have three Corsairs here. You, I think I'm just going to get rid of you because you are useless. Like, just about absolutely useless. You're slow, you can keep up with anything. I don't know, a countermeasure cannon and these pulsar laser blasters are nice. 10 damage, rate of fire 1. 10 damage, rate of fire point 0.1. Why do I not have them on these? Ammo, 500. Ammo, 400. I guess these are technically better. More damage, less range, and more ammo. Yeah, I guess I'll stick with these. I just feel bad that I'm not using uh, Pulsar Laser Blasters. Could I actually put them on here? No. 
Okay. What? Where are you? Did you just disappear? That's weird. It just disappeared? Where's that pulsar laser blaster? Cannon pulsar laser blaster. One, sixty-two thousand. That's worth a nice amount. Aircraft. Probably gonna get rid of this anyway. How much does it cost for a cannon? M61 Vulcan. Cannon M61 Vulcan. Cannon Aiden 2. I just have infinite amounts of them and I can't sell them. It's there now. Oh no, that's what it already has. How much would it cost to make a cannon? That would be 20,000. 35. 25, 18. I should look at some of these cannons and see if I can get like more uh, damage out of them. Okay, there's a countermeasure one. Let's look at... Uh, it's been a while since I've done this, but I want to look at the tech. Aircraft weapons. Okay. Ammo capacity, 560. Damage, 20. Wow. 400, but 28. So, let's see, 28 times 400 would be about... Oh, God, I'm bad at mental math. Let's see, 56, doubled again, 112. 112 versus... That would just be doubled. Wait, why does that... that doesn't work out. Yeah, 112. Versus. Why does this seem so much smaller? Rate of fire. It's much smaller rate of fire. Twin defa. Somehow my my mental math just sucks right now. Uh, give me a sec to work this out. Okay, they're pretty much exactly the same, so I'm decommissioning that one. I put the Aidens on this one. Cannon Defa, that was the other one, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I wish I could put something else on. Damn it, I should have kept that. Oh well. Pulse laser blaster. How much ammo did that have? I can't put it on anything. I guess I just have to sell it. Nice bit of money. Uh, ooh, that's already done. Ah, uh, cancel that. 
79 grenade launcher. Where'd it go? There we go. Aircraft, uh... Wait, was it? I'm gonna make the Aiden? No, I was gonna make another Corsair. Yeah, and... How many M79 grenade launchers do I have? Seven. So... Uh... Fire, fire. Can I hire any more? Yes, I can. We'll leave ten empty spaces. Actually, research. I can hire more, but I think I'm happy with what I have right now. Yeah, it's starting to die down. I think. I don't know. It's definitely more than enough, so... Engineers it is. Wait, Ashley, managed construction, 51. Let's go for 29. Nice number. There we go. And continue on. Okay, here we're in the mission, take two, because it crashed. And I was doing so well, you have no idea. Yeah, I knew that guy was there. I still was able to kill him. Let's see if I can do it again. Well, last time I took two shots, but oh well. Let's go this way. I should have just gone through the building now that I think about it, but oh well. Wait, did you? No, he didn't see anything. Okay, that's good. Uh, you're out of cover, but oh well. Go that way. Uh, you. Oh, I need to make room. I can't remember if there's anyone over here. Well, we're about to find out. Oh, I did so well, I had ne nearly had the mission beat. Like, completely. It crashes on me. As you can tell, I'm not very pleased about that. Okay. And I guess I'll just have a heavy go this way. And you can head toward that door. The other heavy can head this way. Yeah, right there. That's decent, I think. And the last person, you. You'll be scouting out this way. And turn. <laughs> oh, that didn't do anything. Why do you have no extra clips? Pistol clips, didn't I? Lenium pistol, high powered lenium pistol. Did I make the wrong ones? I'll have to check that. Maybe I just equip the wrong ones. like this way. Oh, what do you see? Oh, that guy. Uh, wait, can you chuck a grenade over there? Okay, I guess that's decent. Crouch. I don't want you to... Nah, keep it on you. You go this way. Like I said, I can't remember where all the aliens are. 
I actually can't really remember even where some of them are. You can go there. Actually, maybe you'll... No. Go there. That's decent. Okay. You. What do we have over this way? Wait. Why do I see any... Oh, that guy. Okay. That's a bit worried there. I didn't... I want you to turn this way, not close the damn door. Crouch. I think that's a decent spot, and you can go here. I tend to just chuck a grenade out. I think I might just do that. It would reduce their visibility. No, not yet. Actually, save game. I should be saving a lot more. Uh... What about you? Oh, you haven't moved, like, at all. Actually, let's see what's in here. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, that guy's unconscious. But I want to see where... Oh, there's a guy there. And I don't think that's the guy who I... Ah, hello there. I wish I had a grenade for you. Close the door. Like, right there, I think. Come on. <laughs> yes. You. How do I... You have a really nasty rifle, probably. Close that. You can start coming up this way. Oh. Hello there. a lot of money. Crap, I can't close the door. Uh, who else has a lot of time units? You. I guess I could get you to come around, but I don't want to anger that guy over there. I think you should be safe there and crouch. You crouch as well. Actually, no, I want you over here. Yeah. something to go up there open that door so I can chuck a grenade inside. Oh, come on. I want to capture them alive. I do have one red shirt, so that's something. Where do you go? That's a good question. Ah, there he is. Three time units. Come on. <coughs> That's it. Uh, you run for the hills. You still can't make it out there yet. Yeah, I think that's decent. Could you? Make it out here. You have 
no grenades, don't you? Damn it. <laughs> Crap. Just don't suppress, please, don't suppress. You need to back the hell off from there. Is that good? I think so. <coughs> and you crouch. Good. And turn. Wait, save game. Okay, good thing I remembered to send a turn there, cause wait, cause the game crashed. Let's try it again. Ah, that one goes down. Same thing again. Broken and fleeing, that's fine. Okay, just need to wait for all this gas to clear out you. You're pretty good, I think. Why can't you move there? Crouch, stay there for now. Okay, you're good. You, move up. See if there's any other aliens right there. You don't have anything, do you? Damn it. Okay. Ah, I'm up there. I should just waste your time, it's really. Same with you. I'm not too worried about anything coming out and getting at me. Okay, who else is full time? It's you. Actually, you know, maybe I'll just have you save them. That's about everyone. And turn. Oh. Should not have stepped out. No, please tell me you didn't freeze again. Oh, scared there. Hello? <coughs> Goodbye. And you can go this way. Nice, go that way. Around that gas. Okay, you, of course. Oh, you stay there. And you pick up your weapon. Yeah. Anybody else? You. Yeah, I guess you can keep it. Save game. And turn. Hopefully, <laughs> glass will clear up. Gas. Not gas. What the hell am I thinking? And how come I can. Yep, we do the time unit shuffle. Not exactly exciting. Ooh. go that way. You come up as well. Do you have a grenade? No. So, let's see. You come over here. You come over here. Ah, you used every single one of those grenades. You can go over here then. Yeah, I should 
be able to get up this way, then this way, and then this way. Nice. And turn. Asha saves. Please be okay. Yes. I still have one save I could use, but oh well. Drop that. Well, you actually go there. Actually, no, I should have dropped the grenade first, damn it. Oh well, you come over. You know, just do the shuffle over here. Time you to shuffle. You're good. Now you need to get over here for the time you to shuffle. Save game. I doubt anything's gonna come up reach. So something opened that door. Huh, I wonder where it went. And turn. Oh, just a blue. There we go. Injured one day. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. Seizing guards. Yeah, 100 each. Seizing guard corpse. Seizing non combatant. Seizing scion. 500. What about the helenium corvette data core? Alien power source. Alien alloys. Alien plasma battery. Who actually got it? Wait. Oh, plasma battery. 20 points? I guess. Okay. Recovered alien plasma pistol, alien spine thrower, vortex projector, alien annihilation phaser. But what happened to the commanders? Or maybe they were non-combatants. Oh, and I was so happy for them. Damn it. But they are worth more, though. Like the seizing guards, or 25 each, if you divide it. And this one is worth 50 each. Huh. The scion is 500, though, and that was definitely nice. Hmm. So... Non-combatants, 50 each. Guard no, guards were 100. Okay. Yeah. Forgot those are corpses. My mistake. So red shirts I should barely even bother with. Okay. Got base. Any factor. Uh, I thought I reset this. Didn't I? Oh, where? Soldier weapons. M79 grenade launcher. Where are you? No, M7. Light machine gun. God, am I blind? I mean, you guys. There it is. There you go. 99 people. And how much. Let's see. Soldier weapons. Uh, let's look for a grenade. Launcher version 2, no, pistol version 2. Uh, where are you? Oh, wait. Ammunition, yeah, it was here. Smoke, no. Grenade, alenium. Grenade, toxin. Grenade, stun. 
Unit cost 750 each? Why the hell am I doing that then? <sighs> I'm an idiot. But really, 750 bucks each? Ouch! Yeah, no more doing capturing. I thought I was doing so well by doing that. <sighs> Complete idiot. Equip people, how many... Oh, damn it, that's why it didn't work. I forgot to set it up. Okay, for 99 people, for how many, how much time would it take for 99 of these? 10 days. Laser pistol, laser carbine, laser shotgun, laser rifle, precision laser. Infantry laser weapons previously existed only in realms of science fiction. Any laser powerful enough to be a viable combat weapon would need a battery the size of a truck, the word impractical being an understatement. The rival to alien technology has changed all of this. The enormous energy content of an aluminum crystal allows a battery no larger than a standard ammunition magazine to drain up to a dozen laser beams, each capable of burning through an inch of steel. Superconducting ceramics can be used to cool the weapon, sort, storing the waste heat from each shot and dissipating slowly enough to avoid injury, provided one is careful where they place their hands. They uh, this eliminates the need uh, for bulky refrigeration units, reducing the size and weight of the weapon significantly. In order to minimize the adjustments, uh, minimize adjustment time for our troops, a laser weapon have been designed to operate like conventional firearms and have similar range and accuracy to their predecessors. Uh, there are some notable differences. Most obviously, they improve damage thermal shock weapons inflict upon their targets. Less favorably, a laser weapon will have roughly half the ammunition capacity of a ballistic weapon. In order to streamline this process, we have designed a sta uh, single standardized battery for all our laser weapons. The design is not complex. A cylindrical steel jacket that contains an aluminum crystal and locks into the weapon with a simple twist. These power cells are trivial to manufacture compared to the weapons themselves, so are available in effectively unlimited quantities. Nope, we have to make them. Be aware that manufacturing these weapons consume a large amount of alien alloys and is both expensive and time-consuming, but it, I still believe they represent a good investment despite this. At the very least, some new toys may raise morale amongst your men. Research completed. Heavy laser, aluminum warheads. Nice. Advanced ballistic heavy weapons. Uh, uh, Last Tech Corporation laser weapons. Phaser gun, toxin pistol. Holy crap, I'm going to go for the heavy laser weapons first. Further evolution of our laser weapon designs, producing both rapid-fire laser weapons that can be used by infantry, and aircraft, and powerful pulse lasers that can be mounted on our vehicle or used to upgrade our base defense batteries. Yeah, that's what I want. Laser pistol, carbine, shotgun, rifle, precision laser. Okay, first, let's check these out. Energy. Let's go for laser rifle. Basic one. Damage 45, mitigation 0. Ballistics. How are our lenium rifles? Wait, what was that? I already forgot what it was. 45, mitigation 0. Ah, uh, 45, mitigation. I can't have a. No. Oh, damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. Something right-clicking on it would show me where it was, but nope. Ah, uh, here we go. Mitigation zero, but 60 damage kinetic. Damage energy. Ah, uh, I don't know if I want to use these. The, those Alenia weapons are really good. Normally, as soon as you can get laser weapons, you get them. They are beyond good. Reflex is not that high. Bravery is going up slowly. But time units, not that bad. Accuracy, 74. 6. Okay, you guys, shields need to fire more. And how the hell are you doing anything? 45 accuracy? That's pathetic. Oh. Oh yeah, before I end this episode, I'm going to do one last thing. Ah, good, you can carry more. Uh, equip everyone else. Let's see, can you? No. Heavy weapons. 
get rid of all the frag grenades. Yes, you can carry one. Yeah, I'm out of stun, of course. What about riflemen? Ah, I'm out of those. Yeah, you can carry a lot, can't you? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I just want them to hold something, okay? Sniper. Okay, just two shield guys. Okay, that goes there. Actually, take that and I'll give you a flashbang. Can't hold a smoke as well? No. But you, yeah, you can carry one. Smoke and a flashbang? No. Uh, actually, yeah. There we go. Actually, uh, wait, what am I talking about? Yeah, that's it. But I'm going to end the episode here because we're out of time. If you like and subscribe, if you don't, don't. But hope to see you next episode. Take care.